is Simcoder here and before we begin let me just say thank you very much because we just hit a thousand subscribers yesterday and I'm truly happy with that and it is all due to you we I, we made better yet <laughs> we uh, got 500 new Simcoders just this month so it is a uh, the growth is tremendous thank you all very much and as you may notice uh, the logo has changed so um, now I have a new logo and a new profile pic and yeah it is the the new look that I'm going to rock from from now on and um, another thing is I just launched uh, our web page so go to simcolor.com and you can check it out for now it is the just a um, a show off a page so I have some information there and you can contact me through there because I have a, an email box there and um, yeah um, we will be able to do some cool things in the future with it we can now focus more on the on web page and everything that comes along with it so yeah I'm really excited about that thank you all very much and now let's get on with the video so today we are going to um, uh, developed the history single page so we in the previous lessons did the recycler view where we put every single ride that we did the history and now we are going to have a page where we uh, place all the details of each uh, ride and in the future we'll be able to use that page to both do the ratings and to pay I still don't know how we are going to do the paying system, but uh, what I was thinking of is doing a pay for each and every single ride, having a button there in the history single page for each ride, having a put button there where you are taken to, I don't know if you are going to use PayPal or Google Pay or what system you are going to use, but yeah, we'll figure it out along the way. So today it will be only a, a setup of the history page. So without any further ado, let's grab the Hoover project and go inside history view holders, which you, you can get inside here in the history recycle view uh, folder and then history view holders. So in order to go in, into another page from a recycler view, you must use these uh, view holders the function, the method, better yet, on click. This on click is uh, triggered every time uh, a, um, a card of the recycler view is clicked. So this view corresponds exactly to that card, and because of that, we are able to get every information that we want. So let's start off by doing the intent as we always do when we want to change uh, activity. Intent intent equals to new intent. Now v dot get context because that's our only way of getting the context of the of where the the card is. You use this view in here. So yeah, and then we just say uh, the page that we want to go to. History single activity and we'll create it in a second so don't worry about that error will pop up but no problem and then we must pass the the information of this um, this card so more to be more precise we must pass the right id of this card and uh, to do that i believe we already did in this uh, series but if not we are going to use a bundle and the bundle allows us to pass multiple uh, pieces of data between activities without uh, many better yet edits so it isn't that hard so we create a bundle and then we place the variables that we want to pass inside it so in this case we want to pass the right id and then we use the this text view which you have here to pass the string that's inside it, which is the right ID of uh, each individual write. Dot get text dot to string. And then we simply say 
put extras b intent dot put extra b and then we need, must start the activity as we always do and to do that we get the context first uh, not b sorry so v dot get context dot start activity intent okay oops you must uh, let me just go inside here and remove the bundle where is it okay I was giving some problems with this let me just check see if now it fixes it extras maybe is that okay so put extras and not put extra so make sure you've got that right and now let's create this activity so go inside here right click it and say new activity empty activity and let's give it the name of history single activity finish okay now these errors should disappear. Write it again. Okay, so it is gone. And now we can close this and it should be working just fine. So now we are going to take care of the layout. And the layout will be really simple. We'll have a map up here and then some text views and uh, an image view for the for the rider or the customer so we'll have to figure that out so yeah let's get on with it and say linear layout that orientation vertical and now we'll uh, pass on the map which, as you may remember, use a fragment for that. And the width will be match parent and the height, let's say 200 dp. That's a reasonable height. Let's close that off and say name home.google.android.gms.maps.support map fragment oops i made an error there fragment okay that's done and to finish it let's give it an id of the map so now let's take care of the the layout and let me just create this Okay, so now let's take care of the, the layout that's going to contain the information of the ride. So this is, uh, I believe I'm going to place it, I'm going to place the, the destination and the pickup location, the distance between the both points and the date of the ride. And then below it, we'll add the, the information of the, the driver or the customer, depending on which one uh, we are talking about. So, uh, app contents, and let's place a margin to make it look prettier of 10 SP. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add the text views. App content, wrap contents. Text, phone. To, and this will be changed so it is irrelevant at the moment and let's place a margin bottom of 20 SP and here I'm actually going to make it match parent on the, the width because there's no reason not to okay and the margin I'm going to give it 20 believe that that looks like nicer let me just open the preview like this so you can see it better that's as big as i can get so let's do it that 
Now let's give it the ID. And the ID will be uh, location right location. Okay, now let's just copy and paste that two times. And uh, the second one will just say distance right distance and right date and I'm just placing the tag so that you can more accurately notice the differences so the orientation will be vertical I forgot to place that and there we go so now let's take care of the driver information and it will look basically the same with some minor differences so the first of which is the first uh, thing that we place will be an image view and we'll change that right now user image and it will be 100 dp height in height and 100 dp in width and the margin doesn't really matter uh, okay, so we need that, and then we'll place these inside these uh, text views, which will change in a second because it will be the name and the phone number of the rider, and we'll say wrap content. and we'll place this inside there. Okay. And now, just to, so that you know what we are dealing with, I'm going to put a, a source inside the image view so that you, we can have an image uh, there. So just say add mitmap. I see default user. This is the user that I already have. So yeah, the orientation, we are going to change it to horizontal. And in here, it will be vertical. We'll set a margin of to the left to 10 SP, 10 DP actually, and remember it is always important to give some some margin to to everything because otherwise it looks cramped in the in a small space, you know. So I, I always give some space. Uh, the more you give, the better. But yeah never place uh, anything on top of each other li like right next to it it looks uh, bad so don't do it so then say username in here user phone and for now it is all that we are going to do and in this lesson I will leave because we are already kind of taking some time, we are going only to show the map to place everything that we need to show the map so go inside the history single activity and to do this we only need the google map and because we are only uh, we are only going to show a map and not get any direction well, we are going to get any direction but we are not going to get an updated location it becomes extremely easy to show it. We only need a couple of things and we are done with it. So yeah, but, but the, the main thing is the same. So we need another variable of the type support map fragments, map fragments, let's say my map fragments, and then just to the find view by ID and keep in mind that this variable is of the type support map, map fragment and because of that we must say before find view by uh, find fragment by ID because this isn't a view it is a fragment we must say get support fragment manager dot get uh, find fragment by ID r dot ID dot my uh, dot map which is the the name that we gave here i believe yeah so yeah that's right 
and then you just say uh, m map fragment dot get map async this and now uh, it should be appear underlined and that's because we still haven't added the um, on map ready callback so we must do that right now and it will implement um, a method in this activity on map ready map callback okay so this appears underlined and when that happens just click alt enter and click implement method okay okay and that's done so now we simply go in here and let me just check one thing no actually we don't need it okay i'm going to leave this empty because we don't need it the map should work by now so yeah let's just run the app and see how everything looks like okay so the app finished loading let's get into the history tab and now when we click any of these we should be taken to the history single activity so let's go and there we go so the map is is uh, working and i was taking some i was thinking about this and i was going to write code on the on map ready and i was going to set my location enabled as we did in the other tabs but we don't need it because in here we are not going to get the location we are only going to show it so this on map ready will serve us when we get the the latitude and longitude from the Firebase database, then we call it um, and place the, the the route in here. And don't mind the the map; it appears gray. I still don't know why. Uh, some of you said to change to Geni Motion, the emulator, but I, I noticed that it was paid. So right now I'm not in the best situation to pay for that. But I'll try to fix that so that you can can see it better but in the phone it is working just fine it, it is just the emulators that don't like maps i don't know why so yeah that is all for today it was uh, we didn't get that much done but now we have the foundation to in the next lesson just make the connection to the database get everything and we'll be able to populate everything that's inside here and maybe even do the routes so yeah uh, again uh, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for reaching a thousand subscribers. Please check out the website simcoder.com uh, and tell me what you think. It is still it still isn't uh, ready for phones. I didn't do that much testing in phones, or better yet, in small screens. But in computers, it should be working just fine. So let me know what you think. I care very much about your opinion, so yeah, drop a comment down in the comment section to tell me what you think of the logos, the sites, everything. So again, thank you all very much for watching, I hope you are having a wonderful day and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Ciao!